Hi everyone, today we'll be talking about perineal massage, what it is and why it's important during pregnancy. Before we start, the first thing that you want to know is what or where is your perineum. So I have a vulva puppet here. This is the vaginal opening and your anus would be somewhere here. The part between the vaginal opening and the anus, basically this part, is called the perineum. This is the area that stretches the most as the baby comes out of the vaginal opening into the world. So especially for first time moms, since this tissue is not really flexible, there are high chances of this tissue getting some tears as the baby comes out. So it is recommended to avoid these tears. You massage this area in the last four to six weeks of the pregnancy before delivery to make it soft and flexible so that it can stretch around the baby's head as the baby comes out. This massage is called the perineal massage. So how do you do the perineal massage? Well, you can either do it yourself or ask your husband or partner to help you. It is best that you do it after a bath so that the tissue is warm. You first uh, basically clean your hands and then you take one or both of your thumbs and lubricate it with a natural oil like a coconut oil or olive oil. You should obviously have short nails so that you don't hurt yourself. So I'll use my vulva puppet again. Then you take a lubricated thumb and insert it into the vaginal opening and you stretch it gently down towards the anus. Then maintaining some pressure which is comfortable for you, you move in U-shaped motion to gently massage and stretch the bottom half of the vaginal opening. This will obviously feel a bit uncomfortable and you may even feel a bit of a sting uh, in the beginning first few times you do it. This is obviously fine because that's the tightness you're working on. However, you should not feel any pain or any bleeding. If you get any bleeding, you're obviously putting too much pressure and you need to reduce it. So you do the perineal massage starting week 34 for about 5 minutes daily. You should keep taking deep relaxing breaths to relax the pelvic floor muscles while you do it. So I know it can be quite uncomfortable to reach down there during the last month of the pregnancy with your big belly. It can also be a bit tough to apply that pressure yourself. So for this, there is another great tool that you can try, which is called the Epinobirth Trainer. This basically consists of a silicone balloon attached to a pressure gauge and a hand pump. This can actually be used for other pelvic floor exercises as well, but I'll cover that in a separate video. For perineal massage specifically, you take the silicone balloon and you insert it halfway into the vaginal opening. Then you hold the balloon there and you start inflating the balloon to start getting a nice stretch. When you feel that you're feeling a nice stretch, which is not painful, just a nice stretch in your perineum, you keep the balloon there and you keep taking deep relaxing breaths to let the tissue stretch out for five minutes. At the end of the five minutes, you try to relax the pelvic floor muscles and try to glide the balloon out in the inflated state out of the vaginal opening. Then there's also a measuring template which can be used to measure the diameter of the balloon. This basically shows you the progress that you are making day after day. So on day one, if you have the diameter as 3 cm, on day two you will have 3.2 cm, on day three you will have 3.5 cm. And by the end of three weeks, you will be able to reach somewhere about 8 to 10 cm, which is the diameter of the baby's head as it comes out of the vaginal opening. So this is actually simulating how you need to relax your pelvic floor muscles as the baby comes out. So for perineal massage specifically, Epino helps you in three ways. One, it helps you to stretch those muscles effectively. Two, it helps you to measure your progress day after day. And three, it teaches you how to relax and yield those pelvic floor muscles to get the baby to slide out without causing tears. So this was all about perineal massage. I'll see you soon with a new video. Till then, take care and bye-bye.